Well, hello, and welcome back to 3DS Max Quickies. Uh, we're in the kitchen, and this time around, we're going to make a spatula. Alright, so first things first, we're going to expand um, the top viewport, then go to Shapes, Line, and then we're going to make uh, the little, uh, the end of the handle of the spatula. Alright. Yes, close the spline. Alrighty. I'm going to take that spline, right click, convert to editable uh, spline, and then choose vertices. We're going to select the top one here first, and then right click, and then click on this thing up here that says Bezier. Alrighty. Then we're going to go in and modify the curves a bit here. There we go. I like how that one is. And we're gonna right click this one as well. That almost automatically went. Yes it did. Right, and then we're gonna do the same to this side. Oh, that went a bit weird so just pulling on that little corner thing that uh, Bezier handle to make it do what we want. Alright, and we're done. Boom. Alright, so there's that part of our handle. Our next step is to go ahead and go to our modifier list. Uh, go to extrude amount at 8. Voila. Alright, and then after we've gotten that little bit out of the way. We're gonna make ourselves a cylinder. Geometry cylinder. About that big. Move it into position. And just like we boolean everything else, go to compound objects, boolean, pick upper and B, choose your cylinder. Boom and boom. Done. Alright, moving right along. Then we're going to make a couple more boxes here. The parameters. Let's see how that works. Alright. should be about right. Um, let's drop that to 160 for the length. We'll go with... Uh, yeah, 22 for the width. And... Let's go with 8 for the height. Alright, and we don't have to adjust the, the uh, segments or anything, we just gotta move it into place. There we go. Alrighty, and then our second box that we're gonna make. Just Click and drag, get your box created. Alright, modify tab. And then we're going to change that one to 8. We're going to keep that at 8 to match with the height of our other stuff here. Uh, one quick look thing so that we can see stuff easier. Uh, for this box that we created a minute ago, we're just going to fix the color of that instead of gray so we we'll make it easier to see and the top viewport made it blue. Alright, go back to the one we just created and get this all nice and lined up. Alrighty. Alright, done with
with that part. Move that sort of out of the way. Alright, and next we're going to create a rectangle, which is in our shapes. Rectangle, just like everything else, just get it made. And then we're going to uh, change the parameters. Alright. And of course, get this nice and lined up as well. Looks about right. Okay. Next item up for bids go to the modify tab. Go to extrude. Yes, extrude 8. So it matches the rest of your spatula. Alrighty then. And then we're going to go ahead and create four more rectangles in the shapes. Rectangles. I want to get them started here, but I'm actually going to move them over. Or maybe not, actually. That's pretty good. Alright, so we're going to... We've got that. Let's go ahead and make them even numbers here. Um, computers like even numbers most of the time. Quarter radius of two. See what that does. Yep. All right. Fantastic. All right. And then for that rectangle, we're gonna go to modify tab, extrude, and this one we're gonna go ahead and bump that up. Uh, let's go with twelve, just so it's easier to see. And. Maneuver around. We're going to push that down a bit so it uh, is so that the uh, main spatula part is in between. And right click to move in the top viewport. That should be about even. I'm going to make three copies. I believe that'll do us. Yep. All right. Now we're going to choose the main part of our spatula. Go to the Create tab. Geometry, Standard, Primitives. Instead of that, go to Compound Objects. Boolean pick operand B and our first rectangle and voila we've got a spatula and if you want you can continue on um, bend it up a little bit so that you actually have an ergo erg ergonomically friendly hand, uh, handle there and then texture to your heart's desire. Alright, thanks guys!